I'd like to welcome everybody to the church service today. Thank you for coming on the 4th of July holiday weekend. I'd like to ask everybody to silence their cell phones unless they're medical or law enforcement personnel. Restrooms are outside, down the hall, at the end of the hall. Cold drinks in the fridge, hot drinks on the table. We're going to get plenty hot enough in here for that. I don't think we need hot drinks today. Like to have doors, like candles to start the service, symbolizing the unity of body, mind, and spirit. for this moment here today. And we take time to feel that sense of freedom for the country we live in, freedom from the spiritual disciplines that we practice, and freedom to be with who we choose to be and believe that which we believe. We give thanks for the country we live in, for the God we believe in, and for those around us. Amen. Consciously moving towards the light without realizing what the light is. 
so too are we moved by the spiritual light within us. We are consciously aware of that spiritual light. The same spiritual light does move the animal and the plant came in, but they're not consciously aware of it. They don't make that conclusion that that's what's moving them. We as human beings, thinking with the five soul atoms and the conscious mind that we have, the ability to dream and imagine, can conclude that higher power. And most of it's immensity and it's truth. And as a result, we draw to it more readily, more cleanly. But so too are we driven by our emotional side, the instinctual side, the genetic side of the animals. We tend to draw back a lot of times because of fear, because of desire. Emotion tends to mix in a lot harder than it does with the animal can. So we have that duality within us of knowing and concluding the spirit, but being driven back by our emotions and our instincts. But by the same token, this duality is what makes us become more aware of the spirit by realizing the limitations of the flesh, by realizing the limitations of the physical, and the eternity of the spirit. So this duality, while it is difficult and gives us a bit of a fit at times, does also drive us towards that greater awareness of spirit. So we should not decry the difficulties that we go through, the challenges that the physical gives to us, because every time we get by that, we realize a greater awareness of that spirit that is there for us, the greater intimacy of that spiritual being that we try to move into. So I just ask you to think about that. And it all ties in with the theme that Independence Day celebrates, which is basically freedom. And this is what the spiritual knowledge, the spiritual connection gives us, is a freedom from that drive, that over dominating that limiting of the, of the flesh and the material. It gives us an alternate reality to reach towards. A knowing of a freedom beyond that which we can see and sense. Because freedom is a concept. It's not a tangible thing that you can point to and see. It's a concept within our minds. So too is the spirit. They go hand in hand with each other. A sense of freedom, a sense of the eternal. So I ask you to think about that when you're celebrating your personal freedoms. Let it radiate to the spiritual freedom of eternity, the freedom of that which God gives us. Thank you for this. The next portion of the service is the healing portion. I'd like to ask Judy and Ann to do the healings today. The way this works is you stick it in a vacant chair as it becomes vacant or sit in the back when you hear the chime. You hear a chime like this during the course of the meditation. That means that there is a chair that's open, usually in the back, and we'll move you forward as the chair becomes vacant. That way, you can enjoy the meditation and the healing at the same time. Ask him to lead us in that guided kind of meditation. But first, we'll read the prayer for spiritual healing on the back of your hand as we go to begin this portion service. I ask the great unseen healing force to remove all obstructions from my mind and body and to restore me to perfect health. I ask this in all sincerity and honesty and I will do my part. I ask this great unseen healing force to help both present and absent ones who are in need of help and to restore them to perfect health. I put my trust in the love and the power of God. Good morning. Let's get ready for the meditation. Find a comfortable position, get into a comfortable position. Feet straight on the floor. Uncross your legs. Out out in your legs. You may close your eyes. And take in a few deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Hold and exhale through the mouth. We 
your exhale, let go if there is any tension in your physical body. Let go of the doubts. We have any worries, any concern at this time. Just breathe it out. Let it go for now.
shift your awareness gently higher. Higher to your head and above your head. And connect with your higher self. The mighty I am presence within you that is surrounded with brilliant and bright golden light. Connect with this mighty presence. There are no thoughts in this state of consciousness. It is a pure and perfect state of being. Indulge in this mighty presence and become one. And just be. Be in this heightened state of awareness. Breathe in and breathe out. manifestation of Christ consciousness dwelling in this physical body in this physical reality creating manifesting and materializing my thoughts my intentions that serves the highest good the highest good of all
I am empowered by the Holy Design. I am guided by the true divine. I am whole. I am complete. I am. vibrations and the light from your I am presence expanding and connecting with the universal light the universal consciousness with the divine love the divine infinite intelligence that is within your reach Feel your connection with the entire creation as one consciousness, a unified field of energy that is vibrating, penetrating, emanating light everywhere. this golden light and the higher vibrations of your mighty presence penetrating down to your physical body healing and clearing the mental body see this golden energy balancing and harmonizing the two hemispheres the logic and the creative mind, the right brain and the left brain, and bringing into a balance, balancing the divine masculine and the divine feminine within our soul and spirit. Awakening the divine knowledge within you. You can just hold the light energies moving down gently to your lower body, to your neck, to your shoulders. I see it just running and rushing down throughout your entire body, spreading gently, touching all the physical organs in your body. The cells, the tissues. See it going gently in and around the molecules, the electrons, the proteins, going through the bone structure, the muscles. As it moves, it clears and it heals the blockage. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel this energy touching your emotional body. As you release and let go. Emotions of pain, guilt. All the emotions that are holding you back. From embracing your true emotions of joy, love, and acceptance. Just feel this golden energy feeling your emotional body. <coughs> Where you feel a sense of balance. Feel the energy rushing down to your knees, to your feet. See it come out through the soles of your feet and anchoring you to the earth. See this golden 
light within you expanding out and surrounding your entire body from within and without. Feel your body's physical, emotional, mental, etheric, and spiritual are healed, are in balance, and in harmony, and completely aligned with your higher self at the very top, high, completely aligned with your perfect self. the I am presence coming down gently and settling through your physical body integrate those higher vibrations integrate your universal knowledge the universal love the divine wisdom the intelligence anchored through your physical body into this physical reality. And allow the will of God, the mighty I am, to manifest and materialize through your intentions, through your actions, through your interactions with others. Let it be of the highest level and the highest good of all. The highest good of humanity around the world. The highest good of our planet. Let this golden light Embrace our state for protection. As you let go of the light, the vision, know that light is always there to guide you, to lead you. Just allow your I am to be in charge. Allow the will of God to be. And wherever you are, be the point that you are. And be the divine one that you are. Embrace your divinity. Let go and let God be. Become aware of your breath. Come back gently. Engage with your physical senses. Become aware of your feet, your hands. Come back gently to the here and now. And when you're ready, open your eyes and be fully present in the here and
Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be fulfilled. Only in the fullness of faith can the heart sick and faint and weary be satisfied, healed, and rested. Think of the wonderful spiritual revelations still to be found by those who are trying to have the spiritual life. Much of life is spiritually unexplored country. Only to the consecrated and loving people who walk with God and Spirit can these great spiritual discoveries be revealed. Keep going forward and keep growing. We stand at the next time. The next portion of the service is the inspirational lecture. Today we have Dr. James Thomas, as we usually do on the first of the month. And Dr. James Thomas, for those that you don't know, was ordained as a spiritualist minister in 1972. He began teaching courses on his research in earth psychology, along with a number of his students in California, established the Church of Divine Knowledge in 1973. The following year, they opened the Thomas Institute of Metaphysics as an adjunct to the Church of Divine Knowledge. That was in 1974. This is before parapsychology or metaphysics to even know. So we truly have a pioneer, somebody in the forefront of this movement, speak to us today. Please welcome Dr. James Thomas. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Fourth of July to everybody. This morning, I'd like to talk on one thing. If we can do this, we're going to be good. We're going to be perfect. We're going to do a small exercise. Do it and see a beautiful change in your life today. We are responsible for every situation, every aspect of our lives. We cannot blame anybody. We can't blame anything. So, the best thing to do is drop it. Take this small challenge to remain pure and clean for today. No feeling of any garbage inside of you. So, when someone says something to you that you don't like, and how many people have had that happen to them? <laughs> Just think about that for a second and feel the garbage that's inside of you with that statement. Drop it right now. Just drop it. It's out of your energy. It's out of your field. Just drop it. Somebody that's hurt you, and boy, oh boy, have we ever been hurt. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, sexually, we've all had something that's hurt us in our life. So, just drop it. and see how you begin to feel. Somebody disappoints you. Think of all the disappointments that have come into your life. And all the disappointments that even happened maybe today. Just say, I drop it, or I drop it. One, two little words, just drop it out of your system.
I tried this on art this morning coming over in the car. And did I ever get a lecture afterwards? <laughs> some of you, someone shouts at you, and all of a sudden he started saying, oh, this one, that one, this one, court, and this one, this one, and another one over here. And it went on. I said we were driving for about five minutes and he was just exploding with all of these things. And I said, I drop it. So drop it. It's, it's out the door. It's out the window. What about when somebody shows your anger? And you get very angry and you turn red in the face. And you're ready to smack them. I know of several people in here that like to fight, or used to like to fight. Someone's <laughs> got to do it. <laughs> Just say, I drop. I drop that from your being, from your feelings. Someone chose an attitude. How many of you had an attitude shown to you? Or brought out an attitude that you didn't like? Anne's got hundreds of them. I'm the attitude. She's the attitude. She really is the attitude. She gets on me more than you ever think. And then she'll say, how come you didn't preach what you said today in church, how come you didn't carry that over into maybe a meeting this afternoon that we're going to have? So I just have to drop it. Today, let nothing which you which is not yours come inside you and just drop it it is not yours any thoughts any things whatever it can be just drop it from all of your bodies and let it go don't become a garbage bin and allow people to put the garbage in you for any reasons whatsoever. And we let people do this every day of our lives. And we need to drop it. So today, you are becoming a better person when you feel all of this garbage you can release from your system and just be you. Be the shining light that you are. Be the person who you really are. And don't listen to other people who like to dump their garbage on you. You know who? The most people that get the most garbage is the mediums. For psychics. Everybody dumps on us. And you have to release it. How many people go to somebody for a reading and all they do is start dumping on you? And you're trying to give them steps to overcome certain things and ask for forgiveness. I had a woman the other day who came in to me along with her daughter. At least her daughter was a little bit sane. <laughs> but the mother, I started with the mother. And I said, I picked up her grandmother was there. Her mother was there. She said, don't even talk. She says, I hate her. And the, the expression came out and I said, love, love love as quick as I could. 
everything in her life. She says, you're not telling me that I know that they're all there, but I hate every one of them. I hate my kids, I hate this, I hate that. I said, do you know what you've caused in your system? Every organ in your body, when you say that, is starting to deteriorate. And what do you think is the first thing that's going to go? The heart. Right? Because if we can't show love every single day and everything that we come in contact with, then that's the first thing that's going to go. And then the rest of the vital organs are going to go. So, then her daughter came. She says, I know, my mother hates me. I says, well, let's get rid of that one first of all. So we worked on it, and we worked on it. And sure enough, by the time she left, she was loving her mother, even though her mother didn't love her. So by reversing situations, we can become a very loving person, which you all are. But you've got to remember, don't let anyone be dumped by you. And people have that happen all day long. I'm not playing the guru who it came from, but some days I think I am the guru, and some days I think the mentor, I'm the mentor, and then when somebody said that to me the other day, I'm not your mentor. I said, I'm just a loving soul. They said, oh yeah, I learned everything that I know in metaphysics from you. I said, so? But that doesn't mean I'm your mentor. You're your own mentor. You're your own person. Do not let outside influences affect you. I send out a list every month, every Thursday, with prayers that are being asked. So between Casa Davis' list and IAM's list, I combine the two lists of people that are asking for healing. And just, if you do get it in the IAM mail, just sit down and pull up the list and say, send prayers to those people, because they're all screaming for, they need something. They need help. And when we put that help out into the ethers, what happens? They get healed. We've had so many people that write me back and say thank you for the healing that was sent out. And it's amazing how that list grows and grows and grows and grows. From just taking five minutes, closing your eyes, and sending healing to all these people. It's not a hard job. It's an easy job. Healing is part of our practice. Healing is part of spiritualism. We come here, we get a healing. And you feel better. And watch what happens during that 24 hours or 72 hour period. How the healing energies work and how they help you in the 72 hour period. So just remember, all this garbage and everything else that we have collected today, release it and drop it. Thank you and God bless you.